Good morning, folks. Um, this will be my earliest <clears throat> morning tarot yet. You could probably still hear it on my voice that I'm a little bit tired. Um, or, I don't know, I feel fine, just um, that it's early. I haven't even totally had my morning cup of coffee, but that's fine. Um, the purpose of this is just to have a different environment to try this in. So, um, yeah, I don't know how you guys have been feeling out there, but this is this this last week, this week, you know, the end of the year, I feel like is, I mean, for lack of a better word, prophetic. Like things seem to be coming into alignment suddenly. Um, <laughs> it was so funny, even at the gym, like my trainer was talking about like her lovers coming back and all this and da 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 and <laughs> I'm just doing sit-ups and mid sit-up I'm like Venus retrograde and she kept talking for a second and then snapped out of it she was like on a roll and, and like snapped at me and was like yes how did you know that I'm like because you didn't know that's about me but I I care about astral bodies <laughs> I don't know we care about the planets how they move and what it means for us as humans this isn't new age this is ancient okay just because we're not talking about it it's not mainstream doesn't mean it's not you know there um I've been learning a lot this year that I'm particularly sensitive so um I used, you know, there I had I had chance opportunities this summer and this year to just lean into learning tarot and lean into, you know, understanding my own feelings, my own thoughts, my own intuition better, differently. So, and now we're here, and now the year's ending, and you know, it it's worth taking a breath to think about all that's happened this year and the last and I do feel like this 2022 man is this new year is a, quite a threshold quite a threshold I feel like a lot of people are gonna want to seriously do differently in this new year this is gonna be a huge year for a lot of people um coming into their own standing up for you know what they believe in. Could be a good money year. It's the lover's year. It's number six. So generally more harmonious. So I hope that that is true. I hope that's true for every single person. And um, it, it, you know what though? It requires leaving a lot of things behind. Like it, it requires leaving behind the things that no longer serve you like we are we all you know are you grieving your old self right now like an like an old identity it's it's happening to a lot of people a lot of people are are you know have have either had like deeply transformative years or like have completed some important cycles this year or recently enough where you know, it will be a process of of grieving self and, and grieving, you know, how our bodies feel and change over time. Um, but on the other on the other side of that is going to be something really beautiful. So just hang in there. Let's see where we go. To the sea. Number seven. <laughs> co-create breathe mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I believe so this is seven four eleven Remember when I said in an earlier reading, like, there's there's really nothing left to do right now because the, the world card keeps showing up? 
it's almost like the end of the year where there's yeah there's not much left to do like we are celebrating we are you know looking back we're looking into the future but we're not totally like really taking action on anything significant unless you own a venue and you're trying to like plan a new year's eve party to that i would say um why because <laughs> covid a lot of bars are shutting down and venues are shutting down of their own accord and businesses are and um <laughs> i said this to my mom the other day and she's like yeah but isn't that bad for business i'm like yeah well it's not a government shutdown like people people are deciding this of, of their own accord you know why because the health <laughs> the health of our community matters so you see how there's like these pings to like our value systems that like just keep getting like triggered like there's they're just being illuminated it's just trying to show you like why have we been doing things a certain way it's really time to like blaze that new trail of you, you know making different decisions so these businesses sure they're going to lose out on some holiday cash but they're deciding that it's more important to them to to shut down and, and preserve you know, the sanity and the safety of their community. So I say good for them. So I'd say today's message, <laughs> I love this, breathe. Thank you. Thank you for that lovely message. <laughs> breathe. It's about if you do nothing else, try to recognize what source you're tapped into right now that's keeping you going. Um, this is a really good time to dispel any negative energy, stop monkey mind, like stop, stop thinking and start feeling. That is the assignment. And as always, I mean, spirit always says trust, just trust. The answer is within you, whether you recognize it or not. Our feelings are always data points on charts. And I'm not just saying that because I like spreadsheets. I just think that if you want to know where you're going, the information is sort of within you already. Like, that's your intuition. Whether or not you listen to it, that's on you. That's why I started tarot, so I can listen better. And the, the more I can listen and trust, or sorry, the more I can listen and receive messages and see how my, my response to those messages either, you know, helps me or, or doesn't help me whether or not I listen. This, all of this is data for me to say, yep, I'm on the right track. Here we go. Four of swords underneath. <laughs> hey, it's me. I'm the devil. Capricorn season. It's saying this is right now. Do this right now. Underneath is the four of swords, which is all about rest. It's meditation. It's about healing. That's what this is about. Five of swords. There's the ghost again. If you can <laughs> to keep telling yourself ghost stories that keep you comfortably scared. Or someone here is disappointed by their past. But look at this Ace of Cups that wants to come in that's available to you. If you just breathe through this, tap into the infinite abundance, of, you know, of love. Like the, re the resonant frequency of love. That is here. It's always here for you. It's about moving past, past this, dis this disappointment. This... this <sighs> Let's keep going. I see healing. I see a little bit of confusion here at the same time. The seed. Remember what I was saying about earlier about like grieving identities and then if you want wanting to see where you're going. This is this feels like the more that you heal yourself, you know, your trajectory might be changing. Like, well, now I feel differently about this situation. So what is actually going on? 
Like, what is my place in all of this after all? Remember, Venus retrograde is changing. It's, it's putting a lot of our value systems under a microscope. And so we, this is a chance to reevaluate what you value, <laughs> reevaluate what you value. Well, you know, like where your investment is going, your time, your energy. It's that time. That's why I see confusion here because now it's like, okay, now I'm healing myself. I'm healing this, this, this feeling of disappointment. I love that this is round to the sea because someone here is not listening to their intuition. Someone here is afraid or has been afraid to get quiet enough to realize that everything is going to be fine. We have the seed here. There's, there's, remember I said threshold of the new year, something completely new on the horizon. Aquarius, age of Aquarius. There you go, the star. Um, but a lot of people will feel confused by this because the point is we're no longer doing things the way we used to do them. That is the point. When you start to focus on universal love as the resonant frequency of everything that you do, the things that, the things that we feel disappointed in the things that matter to us that we feel disappointed in, the disappointed in, begin to change because we change. How we show up for that changes. We no longer say, that's fine. I'm comfortable with this being the way that it is. We say, it's not fine. And we may not know the path forward, but at least we're planting these seeds now of what needs to change. That is the work here. My goodness. Oh, so we have summer, which is a special card in this deck. So is the seed and the ghost. The six of cups and the hierophant. <laughs> What do I, excuse me, what do I want to say about this? <sighs> no. In my mind just popped like New World Order, Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, the Hierophant, first of all, this is like the, um, the, the card of 2021 is the Hierophant year. Uh, this is Taurus. This is also about the things we value, ruled by Venus. But it was like, it's been the whole year. It's about the structures. It's about the structures of what we value. Our belief systems. And so, this is maybe just an affirmation that seeing this along with the Six of Cups, like the, the, what we should expect is more harmony. We're working towards harmony with among these things for our own personal selves and I think for society as a whole. You see how there's like no action here though. This is about rest, meditation, about bringing things into balance. This is about, you know, bringing back harmony. It's about connect it's like making it's about making bridges instead of burning them. And it, I'll say it is also about pacing yourself. The sun, the summer card reminds me to, like, it is summer. Yes, things are starting to feel really, really good. There's life everywhere. The birds are singing. There's, you know, bees buzzing. But the sun, it still burns. And so we spend, we have our time to go out and play, and then we have to spend some time in the shade to recuperate. Remember, everything is just balance here. And so... I see balance, balance. This has been a very nice reading. Hmm. Um. 
the new world order. <laughs> no, but it is about restructuring, I'll say. What are the new rules? Venus and Capricorn is all about, like, what are the rules? What are the boundaries? Show me what we're working with. Give me something to work with. And then, by the way, so Venus, right, Venus is retrograde. I told you to look up your Venus sign so that you can learn more about that and figure out what it really means just for you personally. But then, believe it or not, we have yet another Mercury retrograde coming. I believe it starts January 14th um, through, again, the end of January. So, yikes. Yikes. I feel like, you know, personally, I'm just sort of like a little bit bracing myself. Like, I'm taking in things slowly as they come. I have people, you know, from out of town coming coming into Chicago and saying, hey, let's get together. I want to see you. And I'm like, this is not the time. <laughs> this is not the time. Part of, part of the work for me this year has been changing how, how available I am to other people. It's not that I don't want to be there and that I don't love my friends. I just... There is other work that needs to be done, okay? And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm heeding the, the, the warnings, too. COVID is really hot in Chicago right now, so I'm doing a lot of communication with my friends and my family about what my schedule is, where I'm at, my status, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, to dispel any confusion. I don't want people needing to think that have any sort of questioning about if I'm safe. I just need them, need them to know that <laughs> I'm healing. There's a time for healing. But I get about, I, I get it. Traveling is healing as well. You know, travel for me is therapeutic and I'll be traveling in a little bit. So what I really hope to do, and I'll see if it's, it'll be possible is to do some of these readings, um, out at the national parks and do I don't know if I'll be able to upload them but but we'll see and, and maybe it'll, this will just be like I'll just do a ton of videos for for the new year and, and post them slowly we'll see that idea just came for me that's we'll see so I want to know more about this um, first of all this ghost why does this ghost keep showing up knight of cups I see more cups. It's the Knight of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Two of Cups, and the Ace of Wands. The Knight of Cups is a law of offer. It's uh, pretty romantic, but not very realistic. I mean, it's it's very, very slow moving. Very slow. But then the Ace of Wands is pretty sudden. So it's almost like... Oh man, here's some Venus retrograde energy, right? Um, this like sudden, like suddenly someone shows up, like a, a past partner or a connection here. But it's pretty, it's pretty good energy. This Ace of Wands is inspiration and, and vitality, like suddenly, like, yes, let's, let's handle this. And, and this, these previous two cards here tell me that someone has spent a really long time building up their confidence in order to make this, have this face-to-face. -face. I mean, I'm just saying face-to-face. -face. It doesn't have to literally be, but like to have this moment. Someone has spent a really, really long time battling these ghosts. And now finally their confidence has maybe won over this, these ghost stories and they're, re they're ready to, man, the Ace of Wands. I love how there's like lightning here. See, it's like stormy. That's very fast, suddenly. Scary. Yeah, it's still scary.
but maybe no longer comfortably scared, but more just um, thrilling, kind of scary. Like ready to see what's what's underneath. Okay. Um, show me. Show me the seed. I want to know more about the seed here. Woohoo! <laughs> nice. Queen of Cups, Death, and Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Wands. Knights. Things are starting to move. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So this new seed, this new life, this new trajectory is really determined by your own intuition. The Queen of Cups is somebody who is listening to her intuition. She's very much in tune with her feelings. <laughs> she understands. Look how this ring of stars connects her to the universe. She, this, is, this is wisdom, knowledge, intuition, emotions. This is really what, what is fueling her. It's, this is what's driving transformation. Look, we have the death card. And, oh man, I think I'm getting, I think I'm, I'm ready to transform this, this table setup. No, we'll see. And, um, I love just the imagery of this deck. The seed is in this dirt. The death of the old really gives life, new, brings new life. It fuels it. It fertilizes it. This is just a reminder that there, are, you know, we do have to go through dark moments, dark periods to really understand more of who we are and what we're here to do. Now that that's happened or is happening or will happen for you, there is movement here. Not only is it inspired movement, but it's deliberate. There's a good mix here of like sort of quick and um, you know, sort of slow. The Knight of Pentacles is not as slow as the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is almost like Lazy River slow. <laughs> Knight of Pentacles is like heavy pack climbing uphill slow. You know, you, there is a mission, there's an end in sight, there, it's strategic, you know, you, you've got to mark your trail and bring enough food and, and shelter, like it's very much planned. This is about your routines, it's about your day to day. And the Knight of Wands is, in, is inspired to take action, um, <laughs> fall through inspiration, right? So it is a bit f fiery. Taking Taking a chance, you know, taking an opportunity when offered. That's this new, this, that's this seed here. Hmm. Um, so in many ways, the, this, this seed, this thing that, this new thing that's coming in after a period of confusion You will recognize it once you change, transform your perspective. Remember I said earlier, more feeling, less thinking? Yeah. Feel, you got to feel this one out. Hands down. Okay. Because you will know it. You'll, you'll see the opportunity and you'll know it when you see it. If this is the right way. Okay. So, I guess I clarified the... Um, the special cards. Um, and so, I, should I do the summer card or? Let's see. No, let's do the Six of Cups, Harmony. I, I think this is one of the prettiest cards. I love it. messages 
this card has been coming out every single reading. If you have been watching my videos, every single reading, there's messages here. Chariot, Cancer Energy, High Priestess, Magician. Damn. Interesting. So first of all, I'm noticing that there's like a ton of cups on the table. Oh my God, is someone in their feels, right? I kind of woke up feeling this way, not gonna lie. Not even gonna lie. Um, but I'm still trying to understand if what I feel is my energy or outside of me, if that makes sense. That's where I'm at. <laughs> so just know if I'm not available to you, like it might not even have anything to do with you. Okay. I'm like, I'm out at sea <laughs> over here. <laughs> You're like, what is this? Okay. So the six of cups, this is about nostalgia. It's about, you know, can refer to things of the past, the way that we look at things. Sometimes it could be like rose colored glasses, just like the way that the way that nostalgia makes us feel this very safe, um, harmonious, happy, dreamy, dreamy. And I say dreamy and then and, you know, the seven of cups here is also about sort of head in the clouds, like dreamy. It's almost like this healing if you've been healing a lot this year, this new seed is showing you your forgotten dreams. The things that you left behind when you grew up. Like, what did you really want to accomplish? Who did you want to be? This message is for somebody, but you're still that person. Yes, you've transformed. You're changing in the most physical sense. And our feelings can change. But you can't achieve anything that you that you really want to. If it's in this frequency of love. Don't, you know, this is this is not a time for ego or anything like that. It's the time to get quiet and, and figure out where you're actually being guided. That's this message, you see? Let's get into it. Owl message, the chariot. The chariot is the energy of like fucking going for it. It is sort of like leveling up. It's graduation. It's a number seven card, which I love. We got seven, seven, seven. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we got three knights. And we got three sevens. So this tells me that whatever is happening right now in your life is somehow divinely guided. And that things are hap like you know, spirit is working on your behalf. You may not feel like there's a lot of movement in your life right now, but there's things happening in the background for sure. And honestly, everyone I've heard from, at least, <laughs> has been telling me some version of, you'll never believe what happened. You'll never believe who messaged me. You'll never believe who's here. Yep, no, I'll believe it. <clears throat> The message here, I'm struggling how to put this together. So think about the things that you deeply, truly believe, but have not said to anyone. Something like that. Imagine the things that what are the things that you look back on fondly that maybe you don't even admit to yourself that you look back toward? Um, there's something about the past here. 
I think that if there, if you're looking towards the past here, it's because it's connecting you to your feelings. This, this is the portal to understanding more of how you got to where you are. But now I see a shift towards th this, this isn't about moving backwards. It is still about moving forwards, but we have to, we sort of like look back and like reflect to do this healing work, okay? And there's something here about, you know, the high priestess, the wisdom of the universe. She doesn't speak though. Like the Hierophant speaks, the high, the high priestess does not. The Hierophant is all about using the throat chakra to speak your truth. The high priestess, she wants to know she's the, the wisdom of the universe, but she's also highly intuitive. And she's not, she's not putting it out there. Instead, she's doing her work quietly and manifesting what she desires. So this definitely, again, feels like something here is happening in the background. Some, something is happening quietly. Well, the, char the, the chariot is... Not necessarily quiet, but with this with this snowy scene, and so think about that. Think about when you, if you meditate at all, try to tap into or ask the question. You know, show me some kind of sign that of what I'm supposed to be doing, but. I'll already say that, you know, the meditation is what you're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be getting some kind of messages now. It's almost like graduate your consciousness to receive the wisdom of the universe and manifest what you desire here. Interesting. Um... Okay, I'll, I'll end on this. Um, I really like doing readings for people, so if, if, if you want a personal reading, just um, hit me up and let me know. Because I, I like to have conversations around this, and when I'm just talking to myself, um, you know, it's, it's hard to know where to go. So I just sort of followed my, my instinct here. I hope that everyone's being very safe um, as we close out the year. It's been a doozy. Um, and I hope that it's, it's treated you well and that you're at least taking, taking the good things from, from this year into the new year and that you have the strength and fortification to work towards your dreams in the new year because you deserve it. Whew. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Peace.